the fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Rome, the Eternal City, one of the most visited cities in the world, with tourists all over the place. But here's the thing, there's locals that live here too, and what I want to talk about today are some of the ways that tourists might annoy or upset the locals when they're here. But I gotta tell you, Rome has been a tourist mecca for thousands of years, so the locals are kind of used to the tourists coming here, so there's not really a lot that really bothers them, but there's some things you should be aware of that you don't do so you don't upset the locals. And I think one of the really important ones to mention is don't deface any of the cultural heritage of Rome. I mean, this city's got so many great things, but sometimes tourists do stupid stuff like carve their name into the Colosseum or try to carve their name into Trevi Fountain or drive their rental car down the Spanish steps. Look, don't do any of those things. Don't deface public property. Don't deface cultural relics. I mean, this place is amazing. And when tourists do things like that, disrespect the city and make it worse than when they came, that can upset the locals. That's kind of a serious thing because we've been seeing more and more of these activities lately. And just be respectful to the city when you're here and don't deface the property, all right? Now, another thing that might upset the locals when you're here is if you take up the entire sidewalk for your Instagram photo shoot. Now, I'm not saying stopping and taking a few photos and getting a family picture or something like that. No, 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 no. They're totally cool with that. They do the same thing because this city is gorgeous. It's when they have the huge dress and they take up the whole space and they don't let anybody go by. I'm like, look, this city's always got people going by. Just know that when you're trying to take that family picture, that group picture, that selfie, even a selfie, somehow walk between your hand and your phone. There's just so many people here and, and the locals are cool with the normal stuff. But when you make a whole big production out of it and keep people from getting to their job or getting to the metro or missing their train or getting into their work, that's when you might get some of the locals a little annoyed. So don't worry about a picture or two, but maybe not the whole photo shoot. Now, another thing that I don't know if it really upsets them, but it kind of disappoints the locals is when tourists really don't venture outside kind of the tourist center to find some of the great Roman cuisine that's here because there's so much great food when you're here from the, the carbonara to the cacio e pepe to the, the fried zucchini flowers. Oh my God, there's so much great food. But a lot of people just stay kind of in that historic part. They don't venture out to explore and find places with really truly Roman food and really true Roman like experiences. I mean, even you just get to the other side of the river and go to Trastevere, like that other side of the river there, there's lots of small restaurants and bars and stuff and you can eat way better at a way more affordable price. And for those wanting to go out at night, that's the place you want to go, not here in the, the touristy part. So how the locals feel that you're having a better time and go explore more than just the tourist part when it comes to eating, okay? Now there are a couple food things I do need to mention about the Romans that you might rub them the wrong way, let's say, if you don't appreciate these delicacies. One, if you don't use guanciale in your carbonara or any of the other kind of things you're gonna be making using the, some people like to use pancetta or ham or something like that. No, 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 here it's guanciale, it's cheek, and it's fantastic. And if you don't use it, you're insulting and spitting on the graves of all the Roman mothers here. So make sure it's guanciale, okay? Not something else, not pancetta, all right? Also, if you're asking for the Parmesan cheese, that, that's not a thing here. Here, you get the Pecorino Romano. That's their cheese. That's what they're putting in their pastas. They're grating on their stuff. That's their thing. So if you go for the Parmesan, eh, they might give you a little side eye look, okay? But honestly, there's so many tourists that have been coming here for so long. The locals really don't get upset by too many things when it comes to the tourists when you're here. It is funny because I have one personal story. This is the only place in Italy where I've been scolded for asking for milk in the evening. The other evening I was helping this English couple get some tea and they wanted some milk for their evening tea. And when I was talking to the proprietor of the restaurant, he's like, what? Milk? Cappuccino? It's 11 o'clock at night. Who's getting milk? Are you crazy? And so he just went off on me. I'm like, look, it's two more mature British people. They need their tea. It's like, fine, and he got it. But honestly, that's the only time I've ever seen anybody in Rome be upset because they know with all the tourists here and the traffic and everything, that's just part of life of living in Rome. And they know that. And that's why I got to tell you, the Romans are probably the best or one of the best big city dwellers that tourists can ask for because they're friendly. They love their city. They're going to help you go where you need to go. They go eat the same restaurants a lot of the tourists are going to because the city is integrated together. It's not just a tourist center and then people live outside of it. No, the locals live in the center as well. And so there's good restaurants for that too. All right. So I hope these little tips help you and not upset any of the locals when you're here, but you probably won't because this place is amazing and so are the people. Anyway, I'll say ciao from here in Rome.